investigate. He's, he's reasonably cautious. Sure. He does not seem like a... Well, if he was living outside in the wild, he had to kind of learn to, you know, there's probably coyotes up I there. Say, I still don't know how he survived the coyotes. Good survival instincts. But yeah, I mean, I just, because of the, the unorthodox pee motion, right? right? Oh, there oh, we go. Yeah. Look at him walking. I've never incredible? seen a dog Is pee that, that way. Hang time? <laughs> that was pretty impressive, buddy. I'm glad we got it on video because I don't think anybody would believe me if I told them. Right. So, um, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, like I said, it's a pretty unusual one. I would want to have your vet look at, uh, just do a check. You might do an x-ray because they should be able to tell with an x-ray if, you know, he has a break. I mean, clearly his legs look good now, but it might have been a tail thing or something. We just don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously he's doing that. He's going to be peeing a little bit on his chest. Yeah. Uh, and it could be a learned behavior from, you know, uh, where he was urinating before. Maybe there's something that was very that thin was right. and he didn't have the ability to do a normal. But yeah, I've never seen a dog. Uh, I think you're going to do it again right there, aren't you? No, not if you not even want me to do it. I only do stuff on command. I'm not, I don't yeah. work for tips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Griff. Well, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty unusual, buddy. Let's go back inside. We'll work on some other stuff.